so we think that we have a fabulous core curriculum in Paul College. But through many conversations with potential employers, we were hearing the message over and over again that our students weren't quite prepared in the way that they were hoping our graduates would be prepared. That they wanted uh, students with sort of career-ready understanding of current technology or tools or techniques that are used in businesses today. And while we think that we do a, a fabulous job in terms of foundational knowledge, what employers are really looking for is how to apply that knowledge and put it into practice. And so once we've heard that message over and over again, it became natural for us to think, hmm, how could we institutionalize that? How can we make it part of the Paul College experience? And how can we enhance our curriculum in this way? I first learned about this opportunity through um, a friend, um, a close friend of mine whose husband works at the university. And I was interested in learning more about it because in my role at Vera Bradley, I oversee our NCAA program. And Ohio State is one of the schools that we have under license. And the licensing director at Ohio State had asked me to come and speak at his class. It was supposed to be in person last March, uh, but because of COVID, I ended up doing it through Zoom. And I had such a great time with the students there, very engaged, asked great questions. Many of them had absolutely no idea about licensing as a business model. Um, it, and it went so well, they asked me to come back and do it in the fall. And so I thought, you know, there's lots of opportunity out there. would love to explore something closer to home, um, look for opportunities to, to put my professional experience to work and kind of pay it forward. And so uh, with the introduction, um, networked with, with Jen and with, with Neil, and ultimately um, we're able to work out um, a course curriculum that I think is, is, has been a lot of fun um, and the students seem to be enjoying. We don't have a prescribed curriculum where we have a list of things and we're going out and looking for somebody that can cover this list of topics. Rather, what we're doing is we're going out and we're looking for interesting people that have something to offer the program and our students that will accelerate their professional success. And so we use that to sort of gauge whether it's somebody that we want to work with. And then we actually invest a lot of time and energy in not only developing the, the course but also in supporting them, getting them ready to step into the classroom and be effective from day one. So we bring a lot of our own resources to take somebody who has absolutely no teaching experience and turn them into an effective instructor in a relatively short period of time. And we're really proud of the fact that when you look at our course evaluations, our BIP instructors, and as I said, many of them have never taught before, are earning the same kind of high scores that our full-time faculty earn in our core curriculum. The course topic for me was pretty easy and straightforward to decide what made the most sense, where to focus. My career path has been primarily in product licensing and brand licensing. So it was fairly easy to land on uh, product licensing as the topic and the class um, and the curriculum. We determine the course topics merely through a conversation we have with our industry professionals. So when Stephanie Lawrence came to us and said, hey, I'm interested in teaching the program, we said, okay, tell us about what you do and what you're interested in and what you're passionate about. And she said, product licensing. And we said, that sounds pretty interesting. So how would we go about creating a course? And the first step of our development process is to create what we call a course narrative. And then we begin to build that course narrative into sort of a, a course outline where we can match concepts and activities because all of our courses embody active learning. And then as we do that, sort of the, the course unfolds. The benefits of being in a program like this is tapping into the, the young minds, um, learning what's out there, what's interesting to them, um, kind of what's trending for them as a result of the class that I'm currently teaching in the business and practice. 
Um, it became very clear that uh, many of the students in the class are very much into Hydroflask. So as a result of that, I'm actually you know, looking to see if I can't get a collaboration going with Vera Bradley and Hydroflask. So it's been kind of enlightening to see what's on their mind, what's interesting to them. It keeps you fresh. It keeps you um, connected to kind of the, the vibrations that are going on at the ground level, um, at the collegiate level. Um, and that's what's been really rewarding for me, um, is to, to kind of keep that edge um, and, to, and to keep that you know, finger on the pulse of what's going on out there.